It's been almost six years since Mass Effect Andromeda, which sounds insane coming out of my mouth, but somehow that's true. Six years since my face is tired. Six years since the entire internet decided this was the worst game ever created. Of course, being a Mass Effect fan, <laughs> I was more willing to defend this thing. The last time I talked about this was 2020, and I was like, yeah, this game, it actually was that bad. But of course, we've had another three years of open world games, another three years of a lot of games out there coming out broken. So it's time to go back and see what this thing feels like now. So most of my playthroughs on this game are with the uh, the male. So we're going to go female here and default. Uh, yeah, I, I don't spend time on that. And then I'm actually going to go security. It might sound kind of boring, but I almost never go soldier. I never did in any of the Mass Effect games. So why not? And then we're going to go with female shepherd background. All right, let's go. Every great moment in our history began with a dream. Mr. Krabs' voice is perfect for this game. Today, we begin to make our dream. Oh my god. Reality. This intro still gives me goosebumps, weirdly. The music and the narration's amazing. It's really weird coming back to a game you put so much time into so long ago. I mean, I would make daily videos of this game when it first came out. There she is. Deep breaths. You're gonna wanna take it easy. I've been taking it easy for 600 years. <laughs> Ryder, Sarah, Recon Specialist, Pathfinder Mission Team. Pathfinder Team, eh? How about we get her a cup of coffee first? Yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> right when I wake up, is a cup of Joe. Sarah Ryder, let's get you checked out. The Pathfinder wants you all on your feet right away. I don't like the sound of that. Oh. Yeah, we hit that, uh, invisible, not invisible, but, you know, black matter stuff. Uh-oh. There goes our brother's corpse. This is Cora. I'm at the cryo bay. <laughs> Brace for a reset. Everyone okay? Cora, riders, report to the bridge. You heard him. Let's get... Uh, we have a problem over here. It's Scott Ryder. My brother! Okay, I need to get this... This mouse know. off my screen. What the hell? There we go. Okay, here we go. Uh, what's wrong with my brother? Is he dead? Is my brother okay? <laughs> He's dead. Scott's fine. <laughs> okay, this, ga this game has major motion blur. I gotta turn that off. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Alright, uh, here's the scanny scan. We do the scanny scan. Scanning. Scanning. This camera position is kind of weird to me. It's like <laughs> Sarah's on, she's on like 5% of the screen, running like we need to poop. Excuse me, Close. bathroom. What's our position? Unknown, we lost telemetry. Sam, we need eyes out there. Alec, please, you may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Yeah, no, no please don't, clear. don't speak to the, the Pathfinder like that. Some people say they would have preferred to play as Ryder, oh. Alec Ryder, senior, and I kind of agree. <laughs> He's such a badass. Alec, I, my God. Is that our golden world? Yeah, it looks like shit. We're maroon. 20,000 souls adrift at sea. Yeah. And when the power runs out, <laughs> it stays out. We need to know if that's safe harbor. Uh, yeah. Stop with the good luck rock before we go. This is it. Yeah. Good Dad's luck, rock. <laughs> it's a mineral. It's a mineral. They're minerals, Marie. I'm not going to talk to any of you guys because I know some of you are going to die. Oh, yeah. Here comes Dad's speech. It's kind of sick. Okay, team. Listen up. Yeah. I chose each of you for the Pathfinder team, not just because you're talented and passionate, but because you're dreamers like me. Hell yeah. We dream of exploring the unknown, of finding the edge of the map, and then... Discovering what lies beyond. We only get one chance to be first. So, let's go make history. Hell yeah. What a speech, Dad. I love you. I love you, Dad. <laughs> she kind of looks like a dumb goldfish. Like, she's just sort of, like, staring <laughs> at everything. Everything's interesting. You know, sometimes this game is eerily quiet. Like, right now. <laughs> Why is it so quiet? <laughs> Name's Liam Costa. Security and response missions. I'm gonna replace you with the first alien I meet, Liam. Is this the right planet? We had this all worked out. Keep it tight, Shuttle 2. Shut the hell up, Shuttle 2. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> what if Liam just 
got smashed, decapitated. Whoa! Acceleration increasing. No kidding! Your jump jet is malfunctioning. Sick. <laughs> Just repair it, repair it, repair it. Omnigel, Omnigel. I don't know why my mouse cursor keeps appearing. Just gonna unplug my mouse. Aha! Iconic shot. Damn, look at that lens flare. You got the lens flare! I am not gonna scan everything. This game wants me to scan everything. I refuse. What the hell is this? No, it's cool, man. It's cool, man. Just, yeah, sprint through it. It's fine. Just some light electricity damage. You know, it is a pretty game. I mean, you could tell that pretty much immediately. Here's the protocol. We shoot to kill the aliens. What the hell is that? That looks like trouble to me. It's not a hotel, that's for sure. <laughs> I still like the cat design. I think it's pretty cool. What was first contact protocol again? Shoot to kill. <laughs> That's no, no, it's shoot to kill. We can't understand you. Speak English. Oh. Shit, they're beating him. Yep, no. Watch out. People say this has the best combat in the series. I don't know if I'm ready to say that. Because I think the Original trilogy has amazing combat, but so much for making peace with the locals. does feel crisp. Oh, I'm supposed to scan him, right? Yeah. Is that Kirkland? Let's save him. No, Kirkland. <laughs> okay. Let's do like one of these, and then. Oh man, he backed up. It's like he knew what I was gonna do. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna do a cool melee. Um. Okay. <laughs> No vital signs. Just shot him in cold blood. He was trying to surrender. Why kill him? Because they're but evil aliens. Peace isn't going to be an option here. Peace was never an option. In what hindsight, it is very somewhere. easy to make fun of this dialogue, but I actually don't think it's that bad. I, 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 I think that's just a product of everyone memeing it when it came out. Where? Oh, yeah. I'll mark the nav point. Let's do it. Um, Let's scan this. Uh, see, you know what? They got me. I told you I wasn't uh, gonna scan no, stuff. I think it's there I go, right. scanning. Okay, here's our first actual taste of combat. All right, here we go. Sick. Here we go. Oh God, I did not notice that. It's an unknown. Look out! They're using those animals. Careful! They're cloaking. It's interesting how much damage these guys take. It's actually more than I remember. You hanging in there? Don't worry about me. It's not like spongy, but it certainly feels like you're not doing that much damage. It's probably because we have a pistol, though, honestly. That did it. Oh great. That can't be good. Looks like we got some baddies. Yeah, I, I I do like this movement in combat. It's it feels good. Oh, there's some more. Nice. Wait, it's optional to locate Greer. That's kind of funny. It's like, eh, I don't really care about that guy. Oh, I already have my assault rifle. I'm a dummy. Yeah, rescue team's here. Okay, I'm gonna play around with some of the consumables. Incendiary ammo. Nice. I'm on it. Okay, I should take cover. There we go. Plenty of those. Nice. Nice cover, bro. I can float in the air. <laughs> okay, let's do a little leveling here. Yeah, okay. So we've got concussive shot, but really. We could do whatever we want in this game. Let's grab a, a tech ability. Why not? Then I'll grab turbocharge, which is like do better at game. You got here just in time. Oh, this is Cora's big I'm a biotic moment. Here they come. Okay, here we go. They got balls to try and air drop. The balls on these boys, these aliens, they got go massive down. balls. All right, here we go. 
sick. Here. Another shuttle incoming. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Guess we got their attention. Okay. Are those dogs? <laughs> They're not 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 dogs. Not as good as dogs. Okay, let's get this big boy, guys. Burn this fella down. Yeah. Just go with it. <laughs> Liam. Liam. Buddy. Yeah. Right. It's just these assholes kill Kirkland. Yeah, anger's good. Use it. Stay pissed. Use it. Yeah. We'll do. <laughs> Take cover. Okay, get ready. Get ready. Yes. I didn't know you were biotic. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not contagious. Good to see you in one piece. Hey, Dad. Liam and I are with Cora. I have an idea. Rendezvous with my coordinates. Will you know my my quick take on this game so far is that it's it's definitely not as bad as everyone, but but it it never really was as bad as everyone said. I really like the movement. I mean, I already kind of knew that though. The nav point shows my dad's up there. Hey, Dad. The tower is called to the feedback loop. The cloud. Together, they're disrupting the entire climate with undirected energy. We suggest if we can get in there and shut it down. No illusions about this. It'll be a nasty fight the whole way. Yeah. The problem is we're outnumbered. I've been working on that. We just need to change the math. <laughs> we just need to change the math. Oh, yeah, Daddy. Let's go. Right behind you. Push ahead to the I really should have gotten some more health before I entered this fight. It's okay. Sam, load combat profile. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. I missed again. Jesus. Maybe that's why I'm a recon specialist. All right. Burn. Hey, you over here. You, you throw that? You throw that, buddy? Honestly, I think the most fun thing about the combat in this game is the movement. Just being able to kind of reposition and flank and yeah, it's a good time. Whoa, <laughs> my man just got lightning struck. Oh, I forgot about that smash down. I gotta use that. Sick. Oh my God, that's Greer on the table. They killed him. Wait, what? That's hilarious. I think I've saved that guy every single time. I don't know. Yeah, he's right here. He's right here. <laughs> Amazing. Sam, give me engineer profile. Oh, can't wait to be just like Dad. Sir, have different where profiles. Are you profiles. Little help from Sam. What does that mean? Let's just do a little incendiary fire. ammo. Sick. Not over yet. I need to yes. Get that oh, that was beautiful. It's 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 always been fun watching those biotic powers work, you know, fly around corners. Come on. These are the moments that make it all worthwhile. Sick. I'll be damned. It's working. You Dad. did it, Dad. No. Ugh. We need an emergency. The saddest part of the game right here. ETA is 3 maybe 4 minutes. We don't have that long. Daddy Ryder. I also like how they show you this. It's very Mass Effect 2. What happened? You were clinically dead for 22 seconds. Sick. My father. Where? Your dad's dead. No. It was your life or his. And he chose you. You're the new Pathfinder, Sarah. We're on our way to the rally point now. Should be at the Nexus soon. Ryder, good to see you on your feet. We're at the Nexus. Sweet. It's the forward hub for the entire Andromeda Initiative. The Asari, Solarian, and Turian arcs should be there too. Okay. 
We made it to the space station. That's but again, good. we're really going to need to find a bathroom. Look at the way we're running. I really feel like this game has just a, like a lot of pieces, you know? They just didn't quite come together. It's also kind of funny. All of the NPCs, even Ryder, just looks kind of small. Everyone looks like mini humans. Um, hey, buddy boy. We're from Arc Hyperion and wondering where everybody went. <laughs> I don't believe it. Hey, a Turian, one of the good guys. I'm Tyrion Candros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. You should know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Is it true? Oh, oh hey guys. Drop everything and report for duty. And no one was expecting an arc to finally show up. <laughs> okay, again, the eerie quietness. Procedures are it's like something's board. missing. I'm Jaren Tan, director yes. of the initiative. Jaren you Tan. You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. We've heard about what happened, and we're ready to help. We could use any supplies hey. we have. Hey, <laughs> there's my face is tired. On everything. You're not Alec Ryder. My father's dead. Yeah, he it's interesting. The humans do not look very good dead. in this game, I'll say. That's no way to treat a guest. <laughs> the walking animation. I'm not more cash. Okay, let's let's get to our ship. I'm ready. I'm not gonna talk to Korra. <laughs> I'm avoiding that. You know, it's hard to say this game has a slow start because it's just like any other RPG. Like I feel like every RPG has to establish, you know, a backdrop, a setting, all of that stuff in the first two hours. I, I know it's supposed to feel a little bit dead, I, I, I guess, but God, does this game feel dead? I can't put my finger on exactly why. Oh, we get to choose our profile. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We start with the soldier. Yeah, yeah, got it. Okay, now we get to go to our ship. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. Vetra. All right. Okay, this is a very cool ship. Yeah, the Tempest. I'm a fan. It's it's super sleek. Go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. These people walk like they just learned how to walk like a toddler. Everything's state of the art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Dr. Tapero. The best in their field. Good to see you're looking so well, Sarah. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. Oh, yeah, That's Gil. Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all around wrench jockey. Oh, this is a regular old wrench jockey. <laughs> we call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. Sick. It's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even <laughs> What's wrong with her face? When Up to this point, I haven't noticed like bad bridge. faces that Our much. They're just kind of dead. Good to go. But that was a bad face. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> this is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. Oh, yeah. Um. No. No time for speeches. Let's see what we can find. There we go. Nexus control. That's a this dialogue choice I can I get on board with. Prepping to depart. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. Godspeed. Where we're going, there is no god. To Eos, then. 
Okay, what uh, Habitat one? yes. Two field Planet map. Is the idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callow, take us in. All right, here we go. I remember a big complaining point was these animations. It's like a first-person ship. All right. Twice. Eos. What? Here we go, baby. It's like slightly reminiscent of Are galaxy of map music, but not quite. We'll get a better read on this past than the Nexus has had in months. Um. But <laughs> what's going on in this cutscene? Here we go. These amazing pre-rendered cutscenes. Nice. Ugh. There. Set us down at this nav point. All right. Home sweet home, baby. Okay, here we go. The ultimate test. Can you see your footsteps? You can. A little bit. Yep. Nope. Footsteps are real. It's very important. Let's get the power back on. I don't know why, but I always check that. We're looking for the code. Oh, I gotta scan this thingy. Did some research. Oh, am I supposed to like scan something? Interesting. All right, got it. Data pad. Got a code lock key. Hell yeah. That should help get us in. Can do a bunch of this jumpy stuff now. Thank God. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. You can say that again. There it is. Sick. All right. Check both forward and reverse, would you? Yep. It's it's forwarding and reversing. Check that out. All right, we are out of here, baby. Uh, Okay, this is probably the best part of this game to me, is driving around in this thing is actually really fun to me. Enemies! <laughs> Not anymore. I played this first part actually so many times. I'm sure I've done this like five plus times. Get ready for the best scene in video game history. Oh, oh, here it is. <laughs> and the face. <laughs> But you have to let them get off of me. All right, time to get off. How dare you? Don't like being sat on, huh? <laughs> I know, I know. I might just be the solution to all your problems. <laughs> oh no, what's wrong with her face? Hey, look at that. I swear to God, I did not intend for this video to be me oh, like, crap. look at the faces, look at the faces. It's, it's just, they? it's hard Later. to ignore. Just take them out. Uh, which one? Whoa! Ow. There you are. Nice. Sick. Let's go around and activate all these remnants. Shelter, water, oh yeah, the future base, right there. I feel like once you establish that base is when the game really begins. All right. <laughs> well, now they're gonna be hostile. More bots, they don't seem to be hostile. <laughs> Okay, let's use our disruptor ammo. Oh, that's really effective. Oh yeah, Sudoku, that's right. All right, let's do this thing. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I pressed one button one time. It's kind of crazy that they don't give you a tutorial for this. All right, I, th I think we're good. No! There we go. Here I was, bragging about how I knew how to do the Sudoku. You know, 
I take it back. I think this is this intro is just a little too long. I do think it takes a while to sort of hit its stride. That looks like a cat facility of some kind. Those assholes took over my best research site. They won't let you near the monolith without. All right. Cat incoming. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Nice. Incoming. It's like this guy doesn't care about the cryo. He's just like, ah, whatever. Okay, let's try a, a prime and detonate. There we go. Now we're cooking with oil. I will not be blown up this time. Okay. Okay. Boom. Nope, oh, there's someone behind us. Hey, buddy. Your friends are over there. Get back to your friends. Oh, jeez. I need ammo. There we go. Okay, here we go. You're on fire. And you're still alive. There we go. Freeze, bastard. Let's get to it before there's any more cat. Yes. <laughs> the music. Actually, kind of great. Hey, what up? Are you? Uh, we're from the Nexus. Andromeda Initiative. We're not here to cause trouble. Uh, we're DoorDash. So you say? Still haven't told me who you are. I'm your DoorDash driver. Are you now? You ordered a bean burrito. I've been quads deep on a couple of planets for a while now. <laughs> quads Taking deep, baby. Head bases. I'm gonna go find more to shoot. Try to keep your head out there. Okay, buddy. Love that guy. Okay, more Sudoku. Boop, bada, beep, bada, bam. Nice work. There we go. Three out of three. Done. The monoliths are online and connected to something in the lake. This could be the master switch we're looking for. I'll meet you there. Don't do anything without me. Okay, I'm gonna grab Shockwave because Shockwave is awesome. You know, it's gonna sound weird or just kind of annoying, but I feel like what this game lacks is like character. Like it lacks charm. It's it's just like very sanitized. I don't I don't know. It feels more like a sci-fi game that's trying to just kind of be realistic. I know this shit's not realistic, but you know what I mean. Okay, I'm gonna switch my squad. I forgot I could bring Vetra. Who do I like less, Cora, <laughs> Cora or Liam? It's kind of hard. Let's do an all-girl squad. Vetra and Cora. Do your Pathfinder thing. <laughs> What's the face? Jump. I'll let you know. Haha. -ha. I am so dangerous and quirky and fun. Oh, hey guys. Oh, God. I didn't. <laughs> no. I did not notice enemies. That was great. Okay, so. And shockwave. Ugh. Love the shockwave. Okay, that was <laughs> useless. Sick combo. Okay, there's a guy. Shockwave. Sick. I remember this being in like their graphics showcase for this game. It was like an NVIDIA showcase forever ago. There we go. Something. This is what we're looking for. The like heart of the bone. Oh, it's a gyrating going on here. Go, go, go! We're almost clear. Run, 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 run. Hello? Katie! 
Here she comes, here she comes. Jim. Shoot. Ball three start is now complete. Huh. Just kidding. No death mist. Atmosphere processor is online. Recovering last console activity. If that light is us, then all these points could be vaults on other worlds. Dormant like this one. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Mark it on our charts. We need more to go on. Let's head up to the surface. I could use some fresh air. You can say that again. Okay. Now new outpost. You have already logged an ideal site. Nav point noted. Updating Tempest. Hey, it's everybody, Drac. It's weird to think that if we pull this off. Also, I uh, installed the like Vanguard profile, so I'm like fields, rivers, doing some cool, forests. really aggressive I stuff, which really I think is the most down fun down kind of combat in this game. I just need a shotgun, which I don't have. Rider, about time you joined the party. <laughs> Yes! Sick! Oh god, I'm dying. <laughs> Please get down. Oh god, oh god. This is dangerous. How's this guy behind us? No matter. <laughs> there he goes. You could really handle yourself, kid. And before you go saying you don't need a Krogan, believe me, you do. Who the hell would say you don't need a Krogan? Everyone knows Krogan's are OP. Okay. Here we go. The biggest decision in the game right here. Not really. Uh, what do you think, team? What do you think? Military outpost or scientific? I say scientific. Aren't we here to explore? I say military. There's too many threats out here. <laughs> I remember so spending so much time on this the first time. Obviously, the uh, sort of idealist choice is scientific, but military makes makes sense based on what we've seen so far. A military outpost. We defend our own against the cat or anyone else. Or just prepped. Ready on your signal. Andromeda Initiative. This is Ryan. <laughs> Pathfinder. EOS is ready for deployment. Copy that. Outpost block inbound. And ready as hell. August Bradley, operational head for this block. Mayor now, I suppose. We're ready to make the most of what you delivered. Oh, hell yeah. I feel like I should toss you the keys. Be nice. It's been through a lot. Understood. Prodromos. That's what we're calling her. Prodromos. It's not a mouthful at all. You already have a lead on something else? The nav point. From the vault. Now it gets cold. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with this cutscene? It's broken. Tans waiting on the Nexus. Bye. <laughs> so yeah, I think this is kind of where the game starts. You're out of the intro stuff. You've got finally got a base on a planet, which is pretty cool. Which and it like instantly spawns everything, which is sort of interesting. And then I'm trying to think, what else does this game ask you to do while you're on a planet? establish the base, like grow out the colony, basically. Is this person drunk? Ma'am, ma'am, what's wrong with you? Okay, well, that was the start of Mass Effect Andromeda in 2023, and I, I have some thoughts. Look, I think it's really, really easy to make fun of this game, and I, I did it, I did it in this video. I swear I did not mean to do that, but it's just, I don't know, it was inevitable. I think a lot of what is hard for me to take with this game is its open world structure. Um, it makes sense for like a space exploration game, but Mass Effect Andromeda, it, do it doesn't feel super Mass Effect-y to me because of the structure. And you know, you're you're allowed to try something new with, with, a, with a franchise, but yeah, I don't know. 
in the future looking back i don't i don't know if that was the right choice and then it's it's just so clear even still that while this is a very pretty looking game it came at the sacrifice of just a lot of goofiness like janky looking faces and animations and really just facial models especially from the humans unless you're talking about sarah who looks eh. like every other human that's not a squad mate or a central character, even director Addison, just looks like Play-Doh. They do not look very good. And then I also just think this game doesn't have very much charm or character. It feels very sanitized, very... Without the, the, the character that the original games had. And that's, that's sort of what is immediate to me. And this is coming from someone who has played this game many times over the years and... Every time I pick it back up, it sort of confirms what I felt before. Then again, a lot of people still love this game. They defend it till their dying breath. And I guess it's just different strokes for different folks. I think it's definitely competent in certain areas, but in others, it falls well short of what I wanted. But anyways, I guess, <laughs> long story long, this game is uh, not much has changed, for me at least, on how I feel about it. But that is about it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, remember to hit that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Hit that bell so you don't miss my next one. Thank you once again for watching, and I will talk to you next time.